Yo YouTube, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about my 5 defender rework ideas. Last time we did 5 attacker rework ideas, now we're going to be tackling the defenders. If you do like this video, be sure to like, share and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch me live, I'm live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash swabes. Now my first idea for a defender rework is going to be Warden. Now rework ideas have been around a long time ever since Warden's been released. One very popular one was when he has his glasses activated, he can actually see the last camera that he was on in the corner without having to go on cameras itself. That would work quite well, no matter the scenario, whether he's roaming and he needs that intel or whether he needs to give that intel to somebody else while actively playing with his gun at the same time. However, me personally, the reason why I don't go for that one, because it doesn't line up with the current meta of his gadget as it is. As it stands right now, Warden's gadget is supposed to be anti-flashes and smokes. And for me, I want to keep that theme in line. So my idea for Warden, I'm going to keep the gadget as it is right now. But the only change I'm going to make is that he can see the lines, or projectiles, where attackers are going to be throwing grenades or flashbangs and smokes. So if you're an attacker and you're cooking a grenade and you're leaning and you're getting ready to throw it, Warden with his glasses will be able to see the line coming. So he will know where the grenade's coming from. I like that idea because it kind of gives him as a slight alternative to a Jaeger. And then the second idea of Warden for a rework would be that he gives all his teammates glasses at the beginning of rounds. Now the reason why that one doesn't work so much is obviously a lot of defenders already have goggles and glasses and helmets and so on. But I like the idea of it as it's quite strong. You could almost say it's strong enough that you might want to ban him depending on what operators you're going to run on attack. Especially if it's a lot of flashbangs or a smoke push or a ying for example. But those are my ideas for Warden. My second idea of a Defender rework is actually going to be, let's find him, is Echo. My idea for Echo is really simple. I think as much as Echo is in quite a good spot right now in terms of he's not overpowered, but he's not underpowered. But I still think in most scenarios, unless you're a veteran Echo, he's not necessarily easy to play and the fact that he's not easy to play and then if you do play him gadget itself isn't as good as it used to be there's less reason to play echo so my idea for an echo rework would be that his drone should be invisible only visible when somebody's on it and that includes his teammates i think the audio nerf on the echo's yokai's is enough for attackers to know where it's gonna be and for his Echo drone to be invisible and nobody's on it, and there's no real downside to that for both attackers and defenders. Attackers don't have to worry because you won't know that they know where you are, and Echo doesn't have to worry about his drone getting destroyed when he's not even on it. However, it does create a cool skill gap where if you're a veteran Echo player, you can get on and off your Echo drone like every 2-3 seconds and pursue attackers and try and put them off, which is one of the cool things that Echo used to be able to do. Like this idea because it's in between what Echo used to be like and where he is right now. My third idea for a defender rework is Vigil. I'm saying this rework idea without keeping in mind what I know is coming with Vigil. If you don't know already, it's been, I don't want to say the L word. He's going to begin at 1.5 in his gun, which I think is going to be ridiculous. However, I think it's warranted considering there are better roaming options than Vigil. Now, my idea with Vigil for a rework idea is quite cool. I would like him to work kind of like a, like a, like a, I don't want to say, like a human mute jammer. So what I think instead of when drones, when they go to pursue Vigil, Vigil kind of just disappears, but you can kind of tell where he's going to be. I'd prefer if it actually jams like a mute jammer. What's cool about this side is I would like it to jam drones, however, only within a certain vicinity. So Vigil would have to stay where he is. But once Vigil moves, with his gadget on, then the drone can pop back up. Now, the reason why I'm saying this idea, because it's not only is it quite versatile and creates a more of a skill gap for Roman, and you have to really think on your feet, both as the attacker and as the visual, but also if you get really clever with it, you could also kind of visual trick on hard breach walls, which is interesting to me because visual would have to stay there whilst he's doing it, which makes it easier, or should I say, invites challenge for the attackers to nade him out of spot kind of like bandit tricking made pretty much so vigil you could you could stand on the other side of hard breach wall turn the gadget on and attackers wouldn't have to know the cooldown period between his gadget but they'd also know that vigil's there that gives vigil another reason to be picked up besides just running and gunning and being a good roamer my fourth idea for a defender rework is for doc now this one is basically inspired by thinker as it stands right now the reason why doc isn't really picked as much 
especially for his gadget, is because in order to heal your teammates, you have to put yourself in harm's way to swing doorways or wherever defender is and, and shoot them with the stim pistol. Whereas Thunderbird has the benefit of your defenders can just go to the gadget and heal up, heal themselves up. I would like it where with Doc, he could shoot all his teammates at the beginning of the round or the prep round with his stim pistol. And then like a thinker, when needed, he can maybe push a button or whatever it might be and everyone gets their health boost at the same time. I like this idea is as defenders you can really time when you guys are getting into engagement and take advantage of that extra health. And it also means Doc doesn't have to put himself in harm's way in order to heal a teammate. However, the downside too is if one teammate goes down, you may be forced to do it. Everyone gets the heal boost, the defender gets up, but if anyone else goes down, you then can't heal them back up. I was kind of torn with the Doc idea for a rework. If you guys have any better ideas, please let me know. Put your thoughts below in the comments for that one. And the last defender rework idea isn't a particular operator it's actually one across the whole board and this is something i've always said now this is slight bias but also i just think all the sites in this game are so all over the place depending on who's meta and who's not meta and who's getting picked and who's not and who is getting picked there's certain operators with certain sites where that doesn't warrant it i personally would like to see every defender who is at least a free armor so i'm going to name these operators these include doc rook tachanka Echo, Mirror, Maestro, Clash, Cade, and that's it. So that's eight defenders. I think all the free armor, one speed defenders, who are pretty much the anchor defenders, because their role is typically holding long line of sights and just holding angles, I would like to see them all get 1.5s on their main guns. I know that sounds quite strong. If anyone remembers Mirror with the Vector that one season when she had a 1.5, it was ridiculous. But she gets banned most of the time anyway. I personally would like to see it because it, for me, having the, a scoped sight should be in line with the gameplay or the style of that operator. Like for example, I don't see any reason why Roma should be getting 1.5 sights. I think the only reason why certain ones do, like your Oryxes and even Warden, is because they're not picked that much. And there needs to be sort of like a, a reason for the casual players to pick them up. But to balance this, again, I, I think then all the other defenders, so all your two speeds and your three speeds, should just have one times. That's just my thoughts. But that's just my thoughts. Because then what you can do is you can just keep the sights as they are. And if there's any operators where you need to rework them or make them meta or whatever it might be, then you can look at the gadget as a developer because in more cases it's just a gadget as you've seen on attack with all the nerfs or the ars and the sight changes with the f2 and the r4c anything that's done more harm for the metal on attack than good because instead of trying to rework the gadgets they rework the wrong things and now we've got what we got on attack and i really want to avoid that for defense so i think they should just be really simple with the sights and defense and also i've always said this i'm going off track but not every operator in a game needs to be meta not every operator in a game needs to be really good there's nearly, what, 60 something operators at the moment? There's nothing wrong with some operators just sitting out and other operators being in the limelight. But yeah, that's my five rework ideas for defense to shake up the metal. If you guys have any different ones for any other operators or even ones on the ones that I mentioned that you think you could maybe improve or you might think I'm wrong on, let me know below in the comments. If you do enjoy this video, again, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. I am a small YouTube channel trying to grow. I'm going to try to upload free YouTube videos a week. And again, if you want to catch me live on stream, it's at twitch.tv slash swabes. So as that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I've been Swabe TV, and I'll catch you next time.